In this video I will demonstrate how you can move rows around on your WordPress website. For this particular demonstration I will be using the Gardener WordPress theme on this specific website which is being used by one of our clients. And the thing I will discuss here or describe here is how we can move the text in the row which is at the very bottom here. How we can move that text in between the image here at the top and the header. The thing I will describe here works the same with all the other themes that we provide as well. So if you're using a different theme, simply follow the same steps. I'm already logged on to the site at this moment as you can see because we can see the editor icon here. So the first thing you will have to do is to enable the editor to activate it. So simply click on the icon here at the very top right. And at the moment you're locked on to the site you can see of course that the, uh, each of the widgets that are placed on the site now have a, an, a hover shade. If you hover over it you see a shade of grey. And this particular row or this widget which is contained in a row uh, this one will be moved or that's what we want to achieve this one will be moved in between the tips and tricks which is part of the header and the first row here of the main content so if I hover with my mouse over this icon you can see that the, the tips and tricks piece of text at the very top is contained in the sub header content area so that one is contained in, in, in a header and the main content area um, is, contains multiple rows, as you can see here, where the, the first big image, so that's the one over here, this is currently contained in the first row. So if we want to move a text widget, which is the text widget over here, in between, we first have to create a new row, which will uh, be able to contain the text widget. And in order to do so, we have to open up the top bar so simply click on the icon here which is the arrow that that's pointing down and if i click on it you will see that a whole bunch of tabs will be shown and one of the one of the items that is uh showing is the one that's called rows in this case this is a, a site in dutch so this one says rijen um, but it will say rows if you're using an English site and you can drag and drop new rows on the page simply by uh, picking up the blocks over here so I, I uh, drag the item I click with the mouse on, on the, in this case a row which has only one column and I drag it and I will drop it here which says plaats here or place here in, in English um, and I will place it not here, which would be the subheader, because then it will be repeated for other pages as well. I only want this new row to be to be shown and to be used using the, the main content of this page. So that's the one here, the one directly above the big picture, because that's where we want the text to show up. If I release the mouse button, then the dragging and dropping will occur. So it just created a new row which has only one column. If we wanted to have multiple columns, we should have dragged one of the other available row templates. So for example, this one would be a row that has three columns. If I would have drag and drop that one here, let me do, do just that. Uh, you can see now it has three, three columns, but we only want to have one. So I will, I will remove this row. Okay, so there it goes. We have one available row which can contain one widget. So the text which is over here, we want to move it. And we want to move it to the very first row in this main content area. So we simply hover over this particular row and then we uh, use this uh, cursor icon which can be, we, we can use this one to, to swap widgets around. So in this case I will swap the widget here on the top and if I release it, the widget will no longer be visible at the bottom. As you can see here now, this row has an empty placeholder, so we can remove this row if, if that's what you want. And it has been moved up, so right now the text is here now showing up at the top. By using the same technique, 
you can move around the rows anywhere on your WordPress theme. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions on how to use the system, how to use the front-end editor, please do let us know and thanks for watching.